praise the Lord. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, Ababa Satasa. Thank you, Lord. Shall we go to the book of Judges, chapter number 13? This is one scripture we've been reading, I think, since 2019. Eh? Occasionally, we have to go back to the scripture. Or Muslim can naksa honung hu tru amoson. From verse 13 to verse 24, the story of Gideon, because verse 24 continues from the conversation that Gideon had with the angel of the Lord from verse number one and everything else it says. Gideon responded, he said, Excuse me, sir, verse 13, chapter 6, Judges. He said, got this other translation, Excuse me, sir, but if the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to us? Judges, chapter 6. He said, what, 18? Kitsa 6 from 13 to 24. Okay, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. 13. Amen. Also, give so for the first one. Icon, icon. Gideon responded. I like this translation. Yeah, the good news it says Gideon responded. Excuse me, sir, but if the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to us? Where are all the miracles that our ancestors have told us about? Didn't they say the Lord brought us out of Egypt? But now the Lord has abandoned us and has handed us over to Midian. The Lord turned to him and said, you will rescue Israel from Midian with the strength you have. I'm, that I'm sending you. Gideon said to him, excuse me, sir, how can I rescue Israel? Look at my whole family. It's the weakest one in Manasseh. And me, I'm the least important member of my family. The Lord said, I will be with you. You will defeat Midian as if it were only one man. Gideon said, if you find me acceptable, give me a sign that it is really you speaking to me. Don't leave it. Don't leave until I come back. I want to bring my gift and send it, uh, and, and, and set it in front of you. I will stay until you come back, he said. Then Gideon went into his house and gathered a young goat. And uh, now the whole process of slaughtering a goat, preparing it, that's a whole day's kind of a thing. So there's patience required in the things of the Lord. Yeah. He put it there before him. Verse 19. No, verse 20. Then the messenger of the Lord told him, take the meat and the unleavened bread, put them on this rock, which is an altar. Put them on the stroke and pour the broth over and everything. Gideon did so. Then the messenger of the Lord touched the meat and the bread with the tip of the staff that was in his hand. The fire flared upon the rock and burned the meat and the, and the bread. That was some kind of an offering on an altar. Then the messenger of the Lord disappeared. That's when Gideon realized that this had been an angel of the Lord. And so he said, Lord God, I have seen the messenger, or I have seen the angel of the Lord face to face. The Lord said to him, come down. Don't be afraid. You will not die. Then Gideon built an altar there unto the Lord and called it Jehovah Shalom, which means God is our peace. And until this very day when the Bible was written that altar was still standing there in a place called Oprah of the Abyssalites. 
Thank you, Lord, for this word in Jesus' name. Amen. Aksakwa na lure garu dume di san neiba. Kaugia fan anje. Umishere fela kama shwa bright you. Good morning. Are you guys okay? Oh Lord, thank you. Amen. Yeah, uh, let's let's get into the business of the day. Um, how many of you are excited? For no reason. I can call it anybody explanation. I can I can see what I'm saying. Mary, get up. Get up. I can roll right. Yeah. Now, come on, son. Just go with him. Tita, fellas. So, wins. How the single wins? Wins. We day. We day. It. We kiss. Go to your own thing. I want. Where now we order le. There's no time for gloom in this world. <laughs> We're talking about El Shaddai. Oh Lord. The God is more than enough. God is more than enough. And like I said to you when we started, you know, there's over 900 names in the Bible, 900 names and descriptions of God. But for me, what stands out amongst the rest, after everything you've heard about God, everything you know he can do, he can't be exhausted. And it, he is called... Um, the God who is more than enough, which is in Hebrew, El Shaddai. God who can do even more than what you have heard from people already. Because you could sit there and hear a thousand testimonies. God who can still do something he's never done among the thousand people. That's what El Shaddai means, more than enough. God who surpasses everything. God who can never be restricted to what he's done or what he has promised who's able to exceed the limitations and break the boundaries. If we trust in this kind of God, then I'll tell you what. Everything else he promised could tarry. Like somebody said, Nakwengu Mudimu may seem like he's late, but he's always on time. They could tarry and ufile uh, you are being overburdened, diki kilifat. You just stand there and know that God is more than enough like he did with Daniel. The answer is on its way. There could be some battles somewhere. There could be some uh, issues that are withholding. But finally, he makes sure that you break through. Now, this is the kind of God who said to Abraham, I'll make you into a great nation. And Abraham, by that time, he was already a pensioner. Now, if God could promise a man and preserve him, I don't see anybody in this place. Aka fail. God promised Abraham when he was 75. Or you're going to become a father of many nations and out of you I'm going to bring kings and everyone else. And until this very day, he's done it all. In the book of Romans chapter number 4, it tells us sort of against hope. Because against hope means when the situation was hopeless. It, though Abraham's situation was hopeless, he stood in hope. For he did not consider the situation around him. He did not even consider the body that God was saying will bring many nations. Do you get the point? So we have to realize this one thing. If we work with God, we have to fully trust him. And trust is not a feeling. It's a stance. What's that? You, you, you may feel defeated. Just as you are, Bruce Manga, Stand. Feeling defeated, just the feeling weak, feeling down, feeling confused, feeling woozy. Stand. The Bible says, stand, therefore, having your loins geared with the truth, having on the belt of salvation, the helmet of salvation and the belt of truth, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So it means you have to realize that we, we cannot reason God. You can't reason God, and I'm, I, I'm not discouraging the study of God. I, I did theology 
And, but I can tell you now, God will exceed everything you've known about him. He will. You, there is no school where they can teach you and you know God. You'll, they'll teach you and you'll know about God. But knowing him is a one-on-one -on -one kind of a thing. So, one of the names and the attributes of Amudim that I want us to look at today is the one called Jehovah Shalom. Or the Lord is our peace. We live in times where if you are peaceful the whole day, you're lucky. If you are peaceful for a full 24 hours, wow. If you live in complete peace for the whole week, it's a miracle. If you look back and it's been a month and you've been living peacefully, you are already in heaven. Start pinching yourself, maybe you did. You get the point? That's the kind of situation we live in today. And I think knowing that God is Jehovah Shalom, our peace, will help you a lot. It will stabilize you. It will make you to focus on what God wants you to hear. It will make you to speak to God with confidence. It will make you to keep looking through the window for that miracle until it comes. Knowing this one thing. You know, when, when I, I, back then when I used to be, you know, there were times when all of us more like, were with our backs against the wall. It happens occasionally. It, it's, a, it's a seesaw kind of thing. Uh, you, 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 you get into some battles and the Lord takes you out and gives you some kind of a Sabbath. Then after the Sabbath thing, how sounds no tabile? Then there's a, and you can tell, or, oko gotan so, ah, tsule khodimun. Then the devil is at your doorstep, and he's just checking on you, nji. And he, you, you, wange gum ko, she, ozo akitele gote, even according to Matthew 12, 43, meling zo, rula nji. Be, be nga sanga guwe, ka shika ashe, mare ka shika ashe. You see that when an evil spirit goes out of a man, it goes into dry, arid places, Matthew 12, 43, seeking for a place to rest. It doesn't find it. Then it's yet a little, it'll go back to my house where I was taken from. Then it comes and finds you swept clean, but uh, unoccupied. Unoccupied means just minding your own business, not caring about anything in this world. Then it says, I'll go and get seven other spirits more wicked than myself, then they come. Now, the, the wonderful thing about it is uh, it doesn't matter how many times uh, we have that kind of an unwelcome knock on our door with Jehovah Shalom after we have opened the door and we find that, oh, it's, it's an unexpected uh, uh, visitor. We can close the door and keep our peace. The ability to shut the door on Potential worries on things that used to keep you awake some years back, but things that you have learned already. No, let's as if you know the appearance of the devil is not the absence of God. So we 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 we, we, we keep our peace despite it all. Our peace remains intact. Now, the stories of this man, I have read this story, I don't know how many times, from 2019, we just kept re referring back to it. Gideon says here, he says, but if the Lord is with us, now we cannot ignore this question. This is a question on many people's lips. If God can need to Alina, why are these kids doing this? You can't measure God's faithfulness. Come about where you are. Well, you can never measure the existence and the presence of God got the rebellion near your child. Or the hardness, the harshness, the cruelty of your spouse. We don't measure. We measure the faithfulness of God. How the devil meant it to destroy us. And we're still standing. <laughs> Otherwise, how would we know that he is Jehovah Shalom if there was no situation trying to steal our peace? After I 
have gone through it and I'm standing. That's what I can tell you. The Lord, you know, some people were saying that nkulu nkulu ugu upi mang ligu waganje. Why ugu upi mau ye restaurant? Why look at corn? It's still corn. It's still in sack. It's still corn. So God was there when things were good. God is still sitting on his throne when things are going against you. God will still be sitting on the throne when you win this battle. God will still be sitting on the throne when the next other trial comes. That's why in the book of James it says, count it all joy, my brothers. If you fall into different kinds of temptations, realizing that the testing of your faith means for the patience, training you how to train you in patience. The testing of a faith will produce patience. Therefore, let patience have this perfect way. Or let the, let the test go through. Where is God through the examination time? Right where he was through learning time. So the question that Gideon is asking is a question on many people's lips in this generation. Some of you are sitting here and you worried about things that you should not even worry about. The Bible said, be careful for nothing, be anxious about nothing, but by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, make your request known unto God and the peace of God which passes all understanding, shall guard your heart and the soul through Christ Jesus. The disciples are in the boat, look, with Jesus. Escaping. Well, Jesus is tired. He's sleeping right underneath. They're on top. They are enjoying uh, then the waves started. Then the first thing they questioned, that is human nature. If you're ever going to find peace with God, get rid of human nature, of questioning, God, where are you? Don't blame the source of the answer you're looking for. They go down into the stern of the ship. Peter says to him, don't you care if we perish? That's not how to talk to God. The best thing we can do is to go and say, Lord, I know you're watching. It's saying, Ugo, if God says, how many security guards did you hire? Or who said me now? You can actually throw it back in your face. I don't know you're not the only child I have. You know, the silent Samudim, we take it for, 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 for the non existence Samudim. Giron says, Ugupi, Maguso. Peter says, Don't you care if we die? If, if I was Jesus, I would kill Jesus, and I would kill Jesus, and I would kill Jesus, and I would kill Jesus. And then Jesus purchased him. He purchased the guy one. Kiri, unga bung joel. Unga, unga lingi, ung joel. No, Ubaba kulele le kai, uzupana namila. But Jesus says, he realizes Murut. For this is just lack of peace. We are more, we are more, Ushaba, Utomu one, or Mulu at the peace be still. Then the, the Bible says that the waves come down. Probably he was not happy with the approach. He went back to sleep. Then they started having their own debate. My Lord, what manner of man is this? Even the waves. Is, now, if waves could listen to God, how much more about people who are facing the waves? The situation here moves. The one in the situation is asking him, Lord, where are you? That, that is not the way it's supposed to be done. The situation hears him where, now a question of where he is. So if you're ever going to work with Jehovah Shalom, the first thing you do, Joko, you stop questioning God and start obeying him. He will address the situation. You will see it and have a testimony. Peace, be still. Jesus. 
He doesn't care about them. They're stubborn. They're a generation that doesn't learn. He speaks to the situation. Peace be still. Waves he hear him. The disciples bury. He don't care if we die. He says nothing to them. We have a parent. We had a little food. It was better if he was preaching to the waves. There is not a single situation you have ever faced that God did not address. The reason it remained, it realized you were exalting it above your God. The devil likes attention. Demons like attention. Bad situations, they like attention. Jesus could tell them to go. But in whose house are they? And who has domain in this house? The agreement, the other situation, the other problem is between you and the problem. The agreement is in between the two of you. The situation, look, it's your house, it's your life, it's your body. If you allow it, it has all the licenses to stay there. It will bow down when Jesus comes. But the owner of the house wants me here. Jesus, the owner, is concentrating on me more than he is trusting you. So I have every right to stay. That is why you feel better at church. And you, you go back to where you were in your own space because the situation listens to you. It knows you obey it and you exalt it above the word. The song of Abiti Yarni Mukereke Muhabi. The voice, the word of the Lord rebukes it. You go home, it's like a puppy. You go in the pant, it follows you. Because I'm going to show you now. 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 So mina na wenje si so situation si so. The soil ta mutare ke rapelo to high fifteen. Ona next size size. Ona tapelo ke lenga rapelo ha kaudi aske size next. Aja hi kolen tole. Aja hi kolen. Fifteen times we have prayed for nothing happened. Something happened. What happened? Tell us. Did you believe? Yes. But in the in your heart of hearts. When go away in the situation, Nikuluman, what do you believe? You know, Nakum, um, Stanya, you satan, um, Stanya, you are Israel. Nakum, um, Stanya, it's a man, um, Stanya, it's a man, Satan, um, Unkiri, that's all, Uri Lafele, Wakamun, who would laugh, Uri Pumanila, Uyagum, Yangu, Fuli, what Pumani, um, Stanya. Utianya sanya manya uba ufuna bantu abahlanya ayo Msanjela Uye kuba le soft le uye you are too soft Lord if you are with us why are all this happening to us That questions the ability of God this is not belief. He's questioning that belief. How come I get told him to say it? Are you blaming me or trusting me? That's not how to trust God. That's not how. It's, that's not. This. This is not language. I trust. This is not language. And the language which has peace between itself and the one it is trusting. Don't you care if we die? I would have left the boat, walked on the waves, and left them in the boat. But yeah, I have to push the man's hood. I have to push the 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 hood. Idiots. If you are going to walk with El Shaddai as Jehovah Shalom, Malulek, Belong to the Jesus team. Belong to the Jesus team. 
as Liwanga, we just fail to score in this game. Harajiwa, kuri fela rishotse o score. Harajiwa. He he baba jile haba reja. We just failed to. We couldn't just score this time. But we are, rest, we are still a very strong team. We are still a very Me, Jesus, heaven, angels, we are still a very powerful team. We are still very strong. We are still very strong. How come, how come your enemies are defeating you? We couldn't just score this time. We'll fix it on the drawing board. Watch this space. We're coming back. Amen. That's the attitude of somebody who's going to find peace with God. So many things we say that are offensive, both in word and attitude and actions. Which, 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 which are actually slapping God in the face. For you, God, you're running the whole earth. Maru sula king wanaka oiwan. Santu bise ngwa no memo. Ori hasin kira pela mudimore. If linga pela le 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 ki nyanga nyanga ki kwe dine. I nyanga le maenga pela. Ulogo so ak akubula le. Unkunukula akubula le. Um, just because get out of solo satin with the Menan Funaku Loco Unga Funuk Hambaniches Jesu Atumelai Motu Chais Uifa Uifilis Tenga in Vusi Latina Sitabul and in Nukmaba in your only one in the Pumise box in the Ranji Nukmabaka Shung. You must stand on God's side. And tell your children, you know why he keeps keeping you? He doesn't want to kill you. He could. Tell him, God has killed children before. God had allowed the sons of Eli, Hophni, and Phineas to die in one day. He's keeping you because where now you have a parent who's hopeful. But tell him, he loves you just like that. But he wants you to change. So don't make me to offend God. That every time I have to pray, you have to come and haunt me. I'm tired of you haunting me. It's either you walk with God or you die right there. And let's have a funeral and let's forget about everything. Let us look at the future that God has for us. Somebody must know where you stand. They must know that I stand, I choose to stand with God. Do you know why? Because after everything has been said and done, after the whole earth, the whole world is destroyed and the earth is no more there, there'll still be God. I can't struggle here and lose focus of where I should get uh, rest when I die. Let vessels of persecution. Especially Unabana, your parents should stop weeping Kilona. Your parents must think when they think of you, it must be with fondness and with thanksgiving. The Bible says children are a heritage from God. God can give you. A bundle of joy which turns into a, a, a parcel, yeah, 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 matrimony and everything else that we even regret we ever had you. If you are sitting here and you are a child and you are persecuting your parents, may you transform in Jesus' name. May you change today. May you be a better child today. May your life be completely turned around today. You can't be your age and still behave like a five-year-old brat. You must change. No hal going to church every Sunday. And looking like an angel. Come use a mu pay bill. O join my room legal. Your parents should not. 
ga sitele modimo ba re mare modimo bana batho ba mmana le bana ba 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 raile na mphile e ha ke le modimo ke go kubetsa ke go kubetsa so tu ba re ke go ke go kubetsa ha mo tsoro a lafela kona ke go kubetsa ke ba pa le no ke go kubetsa o re ke le sutu lo stroa kubetsa let's go on si e sutu nya ne e shwa bana mo So shalom in Hebrew it means peace but not only peace it also means harmony not only harmony and peace it also means wholeness completeness it doesn't only mean it means prosperity it means welfare and it it means tranquility it's it could it shalom it, it means god transforming your environment into a a natural garden of eden you god and peace around you that includes your husband your wife your children your extended family linja ya hao nja tse next door dj dira van we are peel man we are peel go di bencha tse tse thapisiwang tole fela thapile matha mo ja rete mo lore e baba yo tse re basin di siwela Uchos poti. Armo nchengeli, you haven't seen anything. Ka Friday, mtuala matriz. Nchengeli, you haven't seen anything. Aruzai, buwana nga zakomba yon. That's everything good. So shalom doesn't only mean that. You know, when, 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 they, when they greet each other, when they, kasi, 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 shalom, hello. They, they say shalom, but goodbye. Shalom. Hello. Yes, shalom. Shalom see you tomorrow. Peace, peace, peace. Wherever you see, peace, peace. Wholeness, completeness, prosperity, God's provision, tranquility, calmness, everything. Everything that brought us to God. The whole package that made us to turn away from the devil. Completely supplied by God. But if you are going to walk in peace, then do not blame God. God is not the author of 1 Corinthians 14:33. He's not the author of confusion. God didn't cause those things. Why he allowed them? He says, "Beloved, when you fall into different kinds of temptation, this is the testing of it. This is perfect. I don't don't say marimudim. Wasn't there anything you could perfect us through? I don't know. I, I can't I can't question things I don't know. I can only ask for the strength to be able to go through them. And that's why I said, you know, Sometimes we sit there and we are enjoying a season of rest. Amen. But during your season of rest, do not rest too much. Amen. Flex your muscles and spirit. Because it's seasons, seasons. You know, when the devil tested Jesus moving king and made it, then he left him for a season. They would later meet at the cross. Worse, worse than anything else. He fell down in the garden of Gethsemane and he said, if it's possible, Lord, I don't want to go through this. It was worse than what happened in the book of Matthew chapter number four when he prayed all night. Do you get the point? But after a season of rest, mom grace, the worst was still coming. But you know why? Because during the season of rest, Jesus kept communication with the Father. When you are resting, what's going to happen? You must actually go into the spiritual gymnasium, thank the Lord, and say, Father, thank you for strengthening me. I'm recuperating at this particular moment, and Lord, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to a, a, another life. And if the devil knocks on the door, like I said, you open up the door, and you say, what are you looking for? Then he says, no, it's still occupied, and we are busy. Shut the door, turn, peace, be still. That's it. Refuse to be changed. So peace is not the absence of sickness. You can be sick and still be peaceful. I'll explain to you. It's not the absence of sickness or disease or hunger or trouble. But it is a direct result of putting your trust in the one who is able to make everything to work out in your favor. So when you're sick, when you're hungry, when you're diseased, when, there are things, when things are not working out the way you are suppo they're supposed to, do not, do not lose your peace. 
Sickness is not supposed to take away your peace. Jesus is the healer. Don't question the healer. You will need him. Police. police to get the point. So never take the silence of God. Some silences are so loud. Some silence is loud, 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 loud. He's silent, but he's loud. So when trouble strikes, when the devil knocks on the door, he was not sent by God. There are two wills. We say there's God's perfect will and God's permissive will. It's God's perfect will that you should always prosper and be in hell and conquer and win all your battles. But it is in God's permissive will that you should be tried so that you should conquer and win. The devil, God allows the battle, but his perfect will is for you to come out winning. So we shall win this one too. Now you're lay to so say win. It doesn't matter the name of it. We have the name that is above every other name. It says when God gave him a name that is above every other name, that is the sound of the name Jesus. Every knee should bow. Every tongue should confess. It does not matter if it's got a name. God will be, if in a in a in a in a kamalen to Mariana Matolo, Unkulukuluza in Nega Matoli Konukov. It will bow to the name of Jesus. As long as we have Jesus in our corner, like I said, me, Jesus, God, the Holy Ghost, and the heavenly angels, we make a great team. We may have failed to score this time, but watch this game. Finally, it is a win. So peace is not the absence of sickness or disease or hunger. All these things could be there. Peace doesn't depend on any of them. Therefore, do not let any of the situations that are going through steal your peace. Now, this is how we do it, Murut Malulek. As soon as a situation tries you, the first thing you do, remember uh, what, what Gideon did after. It says he ran quickly. He built an altar there. And he bent an offering with him. And he called that place Jehovah Shalom, which is God our peace. As soon as we have any situation, any more situation, no. Uhambu you prepare an offering of praise and thanksgiving. And put it on the altar of God. And say Mudim Usatan Use Kishin. But Lord, I thank you that I'm I'm just reviving the fire and the offering on the altar, your peace. On Jehovah Shalom. Offer the thanksgiving of praise. Go back to the devil and say, Where were we? Uting Jeren again went in again. Hi, but you know Hey, upe me wonga ma cigarette ka principal school win. Wa chonja na ma will cap ka mistress. And ona nga no gana le motse ya kana ko 8. O ya. Last week beka to upo mi school. Abantu ana ba balega ba phuma. O MC wa so wa nga khona no kungena. Lo mtwana mkhomba nge spam. Then urim but I've offered an offering that altar. It's a shisa la pene kamiren. The altar of peace mam grace in se ikuela musi. Una le khotso. You are tried, but yes, the trial is not from God. When you are tempted, do not say God is tempting me with evil. For God can never tempt anybody with evil. But when you are tempted, realize this one thing, that the testing of your faith shall produce patience. Therefore, do not face any situation before you light up the fire on the altar of peace. So you're ready to face the battle. As Gideon progressed with the arrangements, Sister Bello said, Peace, Nessi Chamola. You must have that corner in your house. That corner in your, you know, like, like a true religious person. There must be that corner in your house where you meet with God, where you have that sofa and say, This year I declare it my altar with God. This is where I detox. This is where I let loose. This is where I cry. This is where I ask questions. 
This is where I get the strength for tomorrow. This is where my children's direction will be set up. This is where my next generation shall come from. That altar is called Jehovah. It's our peace. There are many altars. Go to Allah, it's called Jehovah Shalom. But in this family, we will never be troubled up to a point that we are confused. We refuse to be troubled like those who don't know God. You leave this place, you go to your house, no more but to study room me, you don't care. Mo mo rumunya neng ewi ha ure. Se sporti se listu losing. Kita di bayam mo. Kimo kita kopona di mudi mudi. Kimo kita koreng te mudi. Ha kena di challenges. Kiki ana mo rumia kamu. Kita lula lula ana mo stulu nse kiri ndati. Huna wosi sharp mo se bethingi. Maru mudi ati mudi mke kopa hot so ya how. Kito selleta the altar ya peace mo so. Kiko pa fela peace mo re. Kiko pa fela peace. Then come out. Anoint your head with oil. Put on that smile that says, I know in whom I have believed. In mm -hmm. Ephesians chapter 2, 14, this one, just one, one paragraph, one, one line, in the area. for he himself is our peace. He himself is our peace. You know, there are, there are people who will come in, people who say, but we are going through too much, man. You, you know what you are going through too much. How do you manage? But he himself is my peace. I won't break anytime soon. Now, I'm not made of wood. I'm made of steel. He cannot divorce in the man from star. The man from star. I was made of steel and copper and bronze. I can stand in the fire. I can be as red from the fire, but I will never melt. I refuse. There's not enough temperature in the furnaces of the devil to melt me down and make me into somebody else. I have gone through the fire. I can stand any form. I'm a man made for the season. I'm going to rescue my children and their children and the next generations from the devil who has had a heyday with my father and his father and the, next, and the previous generation. Devil, you are yet to see men who will fight and stand. They are sitting here today. We're not about to break up anytime soon. There's a very interesting story. Again, we read this many times. In Mark chapter number 5, 21, the story is um, the woman with an issue of blood and a gentleman called Jairus. It's a very interesting story. Omamele, at the back of your mind, remember Gideon. What Gideon said, remember at the back of your mind, I told about Jesus sleeping in the boat and what Peter said. Check what Jesus says. Moho, Jairus in particular. Now you know the story. It says more verse 21, Mark chapter 5. Let's go like it's a Mark chapter 36. Mark chapter 5, verse 21 to 36. <laughs> Jesus again crossed to the other side of the Sea of Galilee in a boat. A large crowd gathered around him. 
by the seashore. A synagogue leader named Jairus, who also arrived, when he saw Jesus, he quickly bowed in front of him. He begged Jesus, my little daughter is dying. Come lay your hands on her so that she might get well and live. Jesus went with the man. A huge crowd followed him. And you know the story. Smanga, there was an emergency. He said, he, he, he's dying. Jesus said, let's go. We, 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 we. You get the point, ma? For attitude is everything. You get the point? Hane ili gidioni na kwenye kumi oli. Hai we na kikiumo chesho utakuta ema kwenye mo ngana wa ashara paki sing. Get the point? Yeah. <laughs> Do you get the point, Mohabi? Take Gideon, put him in the situation. You came first. Your child is dying. Here's a woman who can walk. Jesus wasted time with that woman. The woman went through the, the crowd are blocking Jesus and everything. Honey, to, if Judah, if Jaira Sina belonged to a government, it would not like the blue lights. No stand more to the tin tan chase. We, 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 we. As Pang said, Nina, Iman lap on the Mavutas, Iman lap. So, Bona mega cati luches, Bonjo gonna battle to war. Yeah. Pelaki, a key, 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 do you know why Jairus had that kind of an attitude? First, he explains. For my daughter is at home, sick. So I had to leave home, come here. She could be dead. But I trust you, Jesus. That if I told you, that's it. He had the kind of peace. He never featured anywhere until everybody else who came, who had, had finished. The crowds were gathering around Jesus. This woman came around. Jesus felt something go out of him. Jairus could not have said, sure. Do you know why, man? We must never, ever, ever, we must never, ever imagine that God will be late. Yeah, the letter says by the 27th, in seven days, in 14 days. But don't worry. The Bible says in the book of Genesis, chapter number one, he said, let there be light. Then there was light. Then it was the first day. Then God saw that everything was good. So the 27, I didn't give him a surprise. He started the first day. What do you like? Hi, it's a halal. What do you know what to do, sir? You take the letter to the altar. Lay it on the altar and say, Mudim, you started days. And the Bible says, you are the ancient of days. Without you, there was no time. You started time, you will finish time. The first day was started by you, Lord. After seven days, you saw, you saw everything was good and you rested from your, all your labor. So God, I'm not going to lose my peace because of what's written on the lay it bare before God and leave it there. There's nothing you can do. Some things you can't. Jesus said by worrying you can't even add anything to your life. Lay your burdens, cast them upon the Lord because he cares for you. Beg it up you go up me. We're not going to be happy in a letter when I'm going to ask you to get one fail. We put a fit a hang out of it. He knows. What more can you do? You can't extend the date on the letter. Even if you did, it can only be extended a few more days. You'll still be facing the same problem. So why face the problem without peace? Rather have peace, something that God can give. And when you are peaceful, then you'd actually realize God had plans. You know, some of the things that God does, 
it was around, um, uh, you know, maybe I could start talking some parables here. Some of the things that God does allow that we lose, he knows exactly how they were going to become burdens in the future. I said to you, you're sitting in a taxi, you're excited, you're going for your first interview, and the taxi breaks down. Don't blame God. Don't even leave the taxi to run on the street. God knows you know, my other altar is at home. But like Gideon, I'm building another one quickly. I'll praise you here. So the interview could have been at 11. We'll get there at 1 and explain. Or say, they say, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Walk out and say, shalom. That's it. God knows. You could be in that job and six months down the line, you are tempted and you steal and you go to jail for the rest of your life. Some things we didn't want to escape. Is that so? And I can't say that it's a bit too much. Get the point. Mutanze machadi aska shola shla abale hizi. Nense ito ba muli ko mutu. Ijam machadi ale tag. Yeah. Pay lo bola never turn out. I call the meeting. Ora hana dula se legi bukai. Borrow twenty-five okay. Ibe more okay. Ten thou kya kamalu me swara two thou. Ora kadi swara five thou. Ying ing bar. Hi, hi. Who is this? Or eh eh. Pera. Kin na stock. Kin na stock. Stock or kin na. Akero balili le mutwalun. Stock or kin na. So what? Haba sa bati koleke. Zamo i chabet. Now, <laughs> Utlato asat hola any attention. Uto sabo ar ah hawa na. Liti mona li fundi rihai pause. Ah yeah yeah. Ban stress about uba. Basha apu fela hone ar zaman next door. You can never add a centimeter. Maluleke, you can never add a centimeter to your life through worry. You can go measure yourself one point six eight. Worry for the whole week, you'll still be one point six eight. You won't add anything to your stature. Therefore, sufficient to the day is the evil thereof. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Peace. Trust him. He knows why it's taking this long. Trust him. He knows why it's not happening. Trust. No, lose everything, but lose not, lose not the connection. So they meet a, a woman along the way. And then she gets here and Jairus is still waiting there. In Moho verse number 35. Verse 34. After the whole thing, Jesus told the woman, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Be cured from your illness. Then exactly what maybe what Jairus was expecting happens. What's that about? And he knows, I left the disguise at home. They can't be bringing good news. Right there in the presence of Jesus, Mwachi. Right there. Let us know. Let us know. He, Jesus himself, Hebrews chapter number 7, Paul says he was tempted. He, he, he's, Jesus is the only high priest who was tempted in every way as we are. And that's what qualifies him to become our high priest. He was tempted as well. This woman who you left, Jairus, verse 35. While Jesus was still speaking to her, some people came from the synagogue leader's home. They told the synagogue leader, your daughter has died. Why bother the teacher anymore? Exactly what he could have been expecting already. Now, I'm going to pick up situation. I'm going to pick up the situation. I'm going to pick up the situation. 
na magauta ro kung chile kana ako kabat at tao na ako shuile Jesus na tukut sa tsebe three pieces I'm telling you na tukut ako ay 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 kopanye pili hantle put gear on the situation na tar Lord that's exactly what I've been saying to you I spoke to you you ignored me you concentrated on another person you know what when you have prayed and you see the lord do that thing exactly go next door he has every right to do it then people of peace celebrate the successes of the others they are happy i don't care how much god works next door if i can tell it's god i know or i might be down 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 in the queue one day he's going to knock on my door after he's done after god has finished he's finished with everyone else he's going to come my way and then jesus says to this gentleman don't be afraid that those words are comforting just continue to believe or much others no 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 they The statement says while Jesus was still speaking to her some people came from the synagogue leader's home they told the synagogue leader I mean, they spoke to Jairus your daughter has died why bother the teacher anymore Jairus never answered this was a man of peace he is a man who wanted to say not and he said he just kept quiet just kept quiet because he was busy on the altar on the altar on the altar although he was concentrating on what he's supposed to do just burning the sacrifices of peace more altar than the one he was sacrificing to students spoke for him or mo ya no ignore everything they say we still going to raise her up now you went for a healing you come back with the resurrection that's how powerful god is you came here for a healing you'll walk out here with the resurrection you came here with a dead child a dead son a dead daughter who's out doing drugs somewhere there you leave this place with the resurrection you came in the dead with a sick family you'll come out with a resurrected family you came here with a sick situation you will live with the resurrected situation you come here with unemployment you will live with a resurrected completely thing god is able to do anything now the attitude of prayer yeah 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 peace it goes a long way And that is why when the devil troubles you the first thing he does he steals the peace there must be no communication between you and god no communication between you and anyone else that way he thrives and that is why runa banyetsing we should identify that altar really too when mzola let's go put that one Hagere can we go to the altar we shut the door and we say you you're not happy what is it how sheba halu ole happy i don't know i have an issue one two three then we hold hands more altar in your peace and say please forgive me then i forgive you then we hug and say shalom we live a sacrifice each amole so re khutla re re kana ke eng thwene re tlabanya le tla bona o se rete sa problem e tswa ka se rete fela ba e se e tswile ke ele mola so because where there's peace then there's god the peace of god cannot sit where the devil is and that is why we have we have this particular and the bible says two is better than one in the book of ecclesiastes it one cannot keep one by themselves Now take this in altar in altar language one cannot keep warm which means one cannot make the fire only one the fire needs two people to make Resata e besa melo mo lapeng a rona melo ya khotso Resata e how le mo sing le wa e besa uri ha bana ba lobo uri angetsene zwile ku tumfundisa u 10 ozandla ya bona go le petro me amanje Bego Petro miam mar masizo hlangana la sithandaza sikuqa la sonke la kule altar ka tokhuma ngwe mfone mina njengo mama wenu ngithi laso we altar angithi yezo mfana na we yezo mfana mangithi gini asiene altar ngifuna iqiniso ngifuna uqolelana 
ngifuna ithemba ngifuna nikhulumisane kahle when they begin to fight the kitchen we are lazy each and another not asiene go altar we do what the Jews do we do what the other guys do we do everything else properly we come and we know that our houses have a place of meeting with God where peace shall reign in this house it should reign by hook or by crook there shall be peace there shall be peace we copane le modimo in our homes in Isaiah 26 3 to 7 it says you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you trust in the lord forever the lord god is an everlasting rock for he has humbled the inhabitants of the height the lofty city he lays it low he lays it low he lays it as low to the ground they cast it to dust completely the the foot tramples it the feet of the poor the steps of the needy the path of the righteous is level the bible just says god does extremely extremely exceedingly and abundantly he causes people who were not a people to become a people people who had no strength to have the strength of 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 an elephant he turns his people around their stature doesn't matter anymore what matters is the power behind them have you ever noticed and this comes from knowing your position taking advantage of it have you seen how those articulated trucks say let's say the thought say the truck truck ya ho sen tsela ibile hakile eng ngoko morao have you seen how a traffic officer a young lady in jewa stesha sabu lucia so ahla hang fela a paris uniform hai a e motseleng e tla ense e bodla re ar e sa tla tshentsha e sa tla tshentsha driver o tla hopola the basics sa hore ha ho tla ha hore ke tshentsha from 100 to to 20 ka 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 sa ka 10 seconds ke tsa bang ho ye me authority and i'm be peaceful so the satan our recognize it one and out sibe out sibe out sibe out sibe out sibe so the out sibe jwa le hore when you belong to a kingdom your stature doesn't 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 count it's the kingdom and the authority that he has the kingdom he belong to and its authority ho oh. and that's it not in this house not in my child's life not in my family are the people in here who have lost their peace lose it no more lose it no more because you are here today and you trust in God to restore your peace. I wrote something down that peace is an altar or a foundation of our relationship with God. And its absence will always let the following spirit to manifest. One, where there's no peace, there will be a, a spirit of anxiety. But that nail biting, I don't know what's going to happen next. Some ladies can't even put manicure because they've beaten every nail off. So it's the dumb one you're not going to get into that table and fell off. If my two assassins are in that table, fell off. Who did you cut your hand? Fell off. Who did you? You're a mechanic. Stopa, kasheko, uwa shebe ure. Nkasi soli kilija. Utwa kasheko. Lady, did you cut your hand? So, go Kenya Kalawena. Anxiety is the absence of peace. What are you anxious about that God cannot solve? The Bible says, cast your cares upon him. 
Do you know why? Because he cares for you. Do you know why we end up casting our cares to him? We realize we can't do anything about this thing. We realize, sorry, some things we cannot change, therefore we cannot carry. That's my mentality. Whatever I can't change, I can't carry. Kehana. Sex a honung was to change, Kehana was to care. God, Eric, cast your cares upon the Lord. Sex a honung was to change, Kislash la Kohen. I can't be carrying Fumbunyana, says the problem. Never. I refuse. Back to sender. Give me what I'm Holy Ghost fire. I refuse. O wa shebe he manala ao, my sister. Ure. Little meal. No more kilija. Kiyako ol tarinkiri. That thing with him. Umpile manala ore kibe mootle. Nkasko le kiwa jile. Kiya hana. Hailu ore kira le matata. Nga pani kareka pabul kami. Kiya shafu na pabul kami kai vitiza. Isim manala anymore. Kita vitiza pabul kami. Lona le tlahula as a testimony. Yeah. Anxiety is the absence of peace. Therefore, do not look like your situation. Go into your closet. Wash yourself. How faith are ukinya everything, ukinya everything. Then go into the presence of the Holy Spirit. Then get the anointing of peace upon your life. Leave your closet with a smile that says, I know in whom I have believed. This too shall pass away. That's why Philippians 4, chapter 6 to 7, it says, be anxious about nothing. Or do not be anxious about anything. But in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. Good with thanksgiving, it's like Abraham who knew against all hope. He stood and he said, God is able to do it. With thanksgiving, make your request be made known unto God. And when you do this, and then the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Where there is no peace, there's always grief. We have moments that lead us to grief. God has created us to be emotional beings. But he says, Never grieve like those who don't have hope and who don't know God. It is time for everything and there's a season for every activity under the sun. Some of the setup Especially where you spend your hours mourning and crying and everything. You get the point. But how Yeah, and Oscar, so we every day. Yamatata. Eh, eh. Now just kick. Kick some dust. You must never just look like you're going through this whole thing. Because grief is a spirit. First Thessalonians 4.13 It says, 
But I would not have you to be ignorant, brothers, concerning those who are asleep. But this is about death. That you do not be, you not grieve even as those who do not have hope. Be it because of death or anything. It, never grieve like a person who is hopeless. Feel the pain. Feel the disappointment. But it will it immediately and begin to walk. Where there is no peace, there's bitterness. Hebrews 12, 14. Follow peace with all and holiness, without which no one shall see God. Look diligently, lest any fail of the grace of God, or lest any root of bitterness springing up should disturb you. And by it, many were defiled. Bitterness defiles people. When you are bitter, you end up not seeing anything good. Some people are bitter full time. They got it a job. The difference of Gabu 27, unlike Brasem, that's the only difference. They are full time bitter. A bitter person sees no good in anything, they become judgmental. They become critical over everything. These are signs of absence of peace. There's something called the spirit of offense. You know, when people just take offense over everything. Whether I'm Why don't you be? 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 My mother like there is seeing and looking. Over man, you must have been begged. They want that. Ah, seeing it, seeing begged again, I've been born. I need you. So, but people who have that kind of spirit of offense refuse. You know, when you go through the challenges, remember that Matthew twelve forty three. This spirit says, "I'll go." And check my house. Finds it empty, swept, and clean. When I look how people sit, so you just getting them. But it am it unoccupied. Go without direction, without direction. It goes and gets seven other spirits. When you are tried, you could be tried by a child, a spouse, at work, a neighbor. You could be tried. If you when you are kind of. When you are offended, offend, being offended is a reality. You're showing proper emotions. Somebody, uh, they offended you. You see that? You are showing, you are showing emotions. But the second time around, somebody else does something. If you remember the taxi driver in that instance, you are beginning to pick up spiritual offense. You'll find some people about him in a langya corner. They have not been forgiving. They have been counting these people's sins against them. You will be offended. People will sin against you. But the spirit of offense is when you fail to forgive the offenders. And realize what he, I'm, I'm, I'm way smarter than that. I'm not that kind of a fool. I'm smarter than that. Do you get the point? I am capable of handling this situation. By the time you get away, anything offends you. You have failed to forgive. Now, somebody would come and say, How many times? They said, Most just order. Hey, prayer forgiveness, I call easy, not. But so must we forgive seven times seven? Ah, it's only forty-nine. Seventy times seven. Yeah. So you imagine, uh, and you know the sadness about forgiveness, Maluleke is so. When you live in a small environment, how God gave everybody a voucher, yeah, four hundred and ninety forgiveness vouchers, and you live in a small environment, your wife could be keeping three hundred of those. <laughs> to get the point. Jesus said 70 times 7. I'm just 
laying around with figures. He says, when some, everybody in this world was just given 490 opportunities to sin against somebody and somebody should forgive them. It depends on the size of your environment. If you are a family man, a domesticated person, where you spend most of your time is where most of the vouchers are going to be cashed up. So sometimes that's how you approach forgiveness so that you don't take offense. You realize what you Sinanje, three months, si shatil. Sengu kolelega i fourteen dot. Because upila nam si too. And when you have not even used one voucher, yeah, your offense. Do you get the point? So, I believe that those who came into this place, who had lost their peace, May you find it today. May you find reason to be peaceful. May you release, not only forgive, release all those who have offended you. And leave the door open to air is human. They will continue to offend you. But the day you outgrow the spirit of offense, then the devil does not get what he wants from you being offended. Then they will stop. Do you, get the, do you, do you, do you feel me? Do that. And the peace of God which passes all understanding will guard your hearts and your souls through Christ Jesus. Let's say, Yeboli na mandra, Yeboli na mandra, Yeboli na mandra, Yeboli na mandra, Heavenly in a manly You come a little chessum, chessum, chessum. Holy